Hey, I'm sorry about this morning. It's your favorite, the Chateau Noir 68. I know everything about you, Kath. Your favorite wine, your favorite novel. I know we like to go on holiday. I know what scares you the most. Oh, Lawrence. I think we need to talk. Please, just humor me. <laughs> Marry me, Kath. When I can buy you a diamond one, you know I will. But for now, this is a symbol of us, of how sweet our lives could be together. Think about it, Kath. We're totally connected. Spiritually, emotionally, physically. I knew that the first time I looked into your eyes that I'd seen what no one else had ever seen before. Oh, God. <laughs> Lawrence. You're not proposing to me. You're not proposing to me with a Haribo ring. I, I thought you'd see the poetry in the gesture. Oh, Lawrence, I can't see the poetry in anything anymore. I have to get up at five every morning to run the business that's basically keeping us both right now. And last night, I had an acoustic rap duo rehearsing in my apartment until three. I know, I'm sorry. They just need some space to get their heads together. They fly off for the Belgian tour tonight and then it'll just be us again, I promise. It'll just be us, it won't happen again. I promise. But it will, though. You say they needed a space, but what about my space? You've unofficially moved yourself and all of your stuff in. You've got all of your so-called creatives treating the place like a commune, and where do I fit in? What even am I, a glorified housekeeper and a cash point? Hey, that's not true. That's unfair as well. We see things differently. I'm anti-materialist, Kath, but I'm pro you. I don't care about your stuff. It's your soul that inspires me. Every poem I can remember writing has been about you. Come on, you're more than this. So why have I been funding one ridiculous project after another? Indulging every whim. You haven't even touched that mandolin I bought you three months ago. I never said I was gonna play that straight away. It's there to augment my creative sandbox. It gives me artistic impetus. Kath, you can't force these things. They have to happen au naturel. Maybe you should try at least. I mean, your career does seem to be taking a while to launch. You need to become self-sufficient, Lawrence. I'm sorry. Is that how you measure art, is it? With money? I don't believe this. And now you're acting like a spoiled child. Oh, God. Of course. I've just realised what this is. I clean up after you. I pay for you to doss around my house all day. I have to scold you and tell you how to behave. I've become your fucking mother. 